Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I am going to start a new series of lessons about R programming. This is our first lesson. In our first lesson, I am going to introduce you to the programming languages, the R programming language, its download and installation. So let's start our first lesson. As you already know that human beings communicate with each other using human language. For example, you can ask your teacher a question and in turn your teacher will answer you. Similarly, a teacher can ask a student, for example, to draw a diagram and the student then draws that diagram in response. A father may ask his son to bring a glass of water and his son then gives him a glass of water. To communicate with one another, we need a language, for example, English, Urdu, Hindi, Chinese, Spanish, French, Balochi, Punjabi, Sindhi, Pashto, etc. What if you want to communicate with a computer? You will need some computer language to pass your orders to computers. However, you cannot communicate with computers through your human languages instructions. You will need some sort of languages and scientists have developed some languages that computer can understand. For example, Machine language, assembly language, C++, Java, Python, R programming, and Ring, etc. These are some of the examples of computer language through which you can communicate your computers. You can pass your orders to the computer and the computer will then understand your orders and then will answer you your question or will carry out functions you have ordered the computer. If you talk to computers in these languages, the computer will understand your orders and will obey your orders. You can ask a student a question in several ways. For example, you can ask your student add 2 and 4. You can also ask him what is 2 plus 4? Can you add up 2 and 4? You can simply write 2 plus 4 to the student and ask him what the answer would be. You can also ask him solve 2 plus 4 and your student's answer will be 6 in figures or in words. However, your computer needs these instructions in the form of letters and some other symbols in a specific order in every computer language. For example, to ask the same question in R in Python language, you will have to type print open parenthesis 2 plus 4 and close parenthesis. However, in Java, you need to type system s must be capital dot out dot print ln open parenthesis 2 plus 4 and then close parenthesis and then you must add semicolon. If you forget to type this semicolon, Java will not answer you your question. Similarly, a new language has been developed called ring language. I think this language has been developed by an Egyptian programmer. It has been developed recently in uh, 2015 or 16, I think. You can search for information about Ring language and its history on Google. This is a very simple language and is a very beautiful language. I like it a lot. You can learn it very quickly if you want to. So this is the beautiful language, a general purpose language. Uh, so in Ring language, if you want to ask the same question that is addition of 2 and 4, you will have to type C 2 plus 4. In Perl 6 language, you will have to type say 2 plus 4 and then semicolon. Here in this table, I have given you the comparison of different languages. In R, you type this print 2 plus 4. In Python 3, the instructions are the same. In Perl, you will have to write say 2 plus 4 semicolon. In Java, system.out dot print ln and then 2 plus 4 the s in the system must be capital however here i have written it in small letters this must be in capital letters in the ring program you will have to type c2 plus 4 in javascript you write document dot write 2 plus 4 enclosed in parentheses and then the semicolon in vba visual basic for applications in excel you will have to write worksheets and then one enclosed in parenthesis dot 
range and then a1 enclosed in quotation marks and then in parenthesis dot value is equal to 2 plus 4. So now let's come towards R programming language. What is R programming language? How you will download it? From where you will download it? And then how will you install it? So in this lesson one, I will only teach you about how to download it and how to install it. If you want to see how to use this R programming language, you will have to watch my lesson number. And inshallah, I will prepare lesson number two very soon. So what is R programming language? It's an open source that is a free programming language. It is mainly used in statistical computing and graphics. So this is a language of statisticians or you can use it in bioinformatics, in biology, in chemistry or for many other different purposes. But it's not a general purpose language. For general purpose, you can use Python, Java, C++, etc. This language, that is R language, is widely used among statisticians and data miners for developing statistical software and data analysis. R was first created by two scientists whose names are Ross Ihaka and Robert Gentleman. These two scientists developed this language at the University of Auckland, New Zealand. Why name R? R is named partly after the first names of the first two R from the authors, that is R from Ross and R from Robert, and partly as a play on the name of another language called S language. The project of R programming was started in 1992 and then its initial versions were released in somewhere in 1993 or 1995 and then its stable version was released in 2000. To use R, you will need to install R program on your machine from the following website. So if you want to install R program, you will have to download first from this website. So download it from this website and install it and you can use it for your statistical analysis or your data visualization. However, if you are not an expert and you are a beginner in R and you cannot memorize all the commands of R, then you will need another software called RStudio. RStudio can help you a lot and it can make your code easier and will decrease the burden of memorization on your brain. So if you are not an expert, then please download RStudio as well. RStudio can be downloaded from this website. RStudio will just provide a graphical user interface for your main engine that is R program. So if you are a beginner then please download both the R program and RStudio. So now let's download them and install. So first go to this website and download it. This is the R version for Windows. This is the latest version R 3.4.2. Just click on it. It will start to download. You can see the file here. Once the download is complete, then to install our program, just click on this downloaded file, click yes. Okay, next, next, next again. Next, next, next. And then finish. Now your R program has been installed. To install R Studio, click on this link. You will be directed to this page. Now download this free version of R Studio. From here, select this version. Your file will start to download. After the download is complete, you will have to click on this file. Click next, next, and then install. Then click finish. So now both the R program and R Studio have been installed on your machine, and now you can use R program. You just have to click on this R Studio. So click on it. You don't need to open R program, you just need to open R Studio, and then you can use it just like calculator, for example, 2 plus 2, and then enter, it will answer you your question. So this was our first lesson about how to download R and how to install it. And then inshallah in our next lesson, I will tell you how to use this R programming through RStudio. So thanks for watching. Bye.